presentation next, we have Zanisha G from Dobbins with Voice of Dobbins podcast interview series. Welcome back to Voices of Diamond Podcast. I am your host, Denisha Graham, and today I have one of my co-hosts, special guest, Mr. Tony Chanel. And today we'll be interviewing him because he's a returning teacher just to check up on his students, and I would love to ask him some questions about how his life is going now that he is living in, what, California and doing so much better than he was. So, Mr. Chanel, if you want to go ahead and introduce yourself, that would be great. How are you guys doing? My name is uh, Tony Chanel, filmmaker. Um, live in Los Angeles, California. Thanks for having me on the show. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna just go ahead and kind of like jump right into it. So how do you, how do you feel? Like how did you feel when you first got that call? Like opportunity to get, like how did you feel? Uh, I was uh first I was shocked. I was appreciative, but at the same time I was kind of torn because you know I had to uh, make a really tough decision. I was really teaching a, a, a group of talented high school students. I mean, a group of talented high school students at Diamonds High School, and you know, I was kind of in a dilemma in my life where you know I could continue teaching these students or I could follow my dream. And I, I thought it was important that I showed these students, with me making uh, that decision to move to Los Angeles, that you're never too old to follow your dreams, and you only get um, so many opportunities and moments in life, and those are um, moments and opportunities you really have to take advantage of. So. You know, hopefully they learned that from my situation. Yeah, I love to hear that. That's one of the biggest quotes that I go about. Follow your heart, follow your dreams. Um, so I guess the next I'm going to ask you is like, how did it feel when you got there? Like, did you like it? Was it what you expected? Or was it like, I'm just happy to be here? Uh, when I first got here, I was just really happy to be here in a new environment, um, in a city, in an industry that was filled with creators, with like-minded individuals like myself. So, you know, I got here, I got the ground running, and then um, Corona happened. So it kind of slowed up a lot of opportunities, and then things eventually picked pick back up in the summertime for me. And ever since the summertime, I've been just extremely busy with project to project. Um, I produced a TV show on ABC called Emergency Call. Um, the last few months, I've been working on a lot of different commercials. Um, and also, I've been really uh, in the process of pitching my own feature film. So things have been pretty busy, but these are the things I used to dream about years ago, and I'm just embracing my process. That is great. I love to hear that somebody's following their dreams and getting to where they want to be in life. Okay, so well, this is going to be my final question because I don't want to hold you up. How do you feel right now? Like, I know you feel amazing. Yeah, I feel great right now. Like I said, man, um, got a couple conference calls later at the hop off this call with you guys. I got to go get my workout. I didn't uh, at Ronnie Kane. You know, usually I walk like two and a half miles. And I do some, you know, other exercises at the uh, the park. So just trying to stay, um, you know, fit mentally, spiritually, and physically. So I can, you know, manifest all the things I want to come my way. Okay. Thank you for coming and giving me this chance to interview today. It was amazing having you. Do you have any advice for anybody that's younger, that's like dreaming to do the exact same thing you did? Um, learn how to build equity with people, right? You know, sometimes as young people, we always go with a situation with um, what can I gain from this relationship? But you build equity with people and you show people that you can add value to anything they have going on that person is going to feel obligated to later help you and it's going to become a transactional relationship instead of a take and not um, give, if that makes sense. Don't be a take or be somebody that give and add value to any situation that they become a part of. Amazing, amazing. It was so nice talking to you. Thank you for giving me this chance to interview you. Um, once again, I am your host, Denisha Graham, and this is Voices of Diamonds. Thank you for tuning in. And Mr. Chanel, would you like to say any last words? Carpe diem. Carpe diem means live in the moment. Find your moment, live in it. And there you go. Thank you for joining. And I hope you enjoyed this podcast and see you next time. Some really impressive work.
Thank you. Uh, does anybody have any questions? Yeah, I mean, for me, I'm just kind of like, from a technical perspective, did you guys put that all together through Zoom? How did you uh, put together the sort of the, the background music? Did you use like, a, did you po do any post editing or was that all just sort of recorded live and put together on the fly? Um, so we actually recorded that meeting on Google Meet okay. and then, um, yeah, we recorded it on Google Meet and then Mr. Taylor, my teacher, he worked his magic for it to look as good as it looked. So any technical questions? Personally, I can't answer that. So Mr. Taylor, if you want to take over, please be my guest. Sure. Well, so what we did is we recorded it on Google Meet. Um, and then after that, we actually worked together um, with our class. We took the video, we took the audio out and put it on anchor.fm. And on anchor.fm, we use the music that ties into the anchor.fm because it lives on two platforms, YouTube and anchor.fm. Um, Z, if you want to put our, our, our anchor.fm media, I'll put, we'll, we can put that in the chat too. And then after that, we took that audio out. We went into we video as a class. Um, and then when we went into we video, we just replaced the audio with the music and then we exported off of we video and then we uploaded it into YouTube. So recorded on, on, um, Google meet, so take the audio out, put it on anchor.fm, create the um, podcast audio, and then take that anchor.fm podcast audio and then sync it with the video. Okay, so then one other question would be, then that does, does that mean that basically when, after you record it in Google Meet, you didn't have to cut out any sort of like dead air or anything like that? It was all just bing, bang, yeah. boom? No, no, I cut, uh, we, yeah. yes, okay. yes. Right. That's crazy. Yeah. Yep, we we cut it. We cut out the yeah. So actually, first we did an audio edit, and then after we did the audio edit, then um, so usually you do picture lock and then do your audio. We reversed it. We did audio lock and then adjusted picture to the audio, okay. because the podcast was our first um priority. I also wanted to say like what uh well what in my class like if you're in the video or in the podcast it's never going to be just a straight through, especially when you got to keep doing it. So like, it's okay to make mistakes because like nobody's perfect. So like, there's going to be edits, there's going to be cuts, but long as you are happy with what you're doing and you like what you're doing, you should be perfectly fine. See, as a teacher, I really, uh, Indian and Anish, you guys are going to have to send me uh, a recording of this when you guys get all the releases and everything, because I literally want video of a student telling that to other students because i i say that myself sometimes and i think it hits different when students tell each other like look forgive yourself on camera it's not a big deal um so yeah uh i kind of really agree with that and great to hear well thank you zanisha